basi tufungue biblia zetu katika Isaia tisa tusoma mstari wa sita hadi wa saba Isaia chapter 9 verse 6 to 8 Na ujumbe wa kichwa changu tunapo I mean kichwa cha ujumbe wangu tunapoendelea is God of the unexpected God of the unexpected Mungu wa tusiotarajia Tunatumikia Mungu ambaye anaweza kufanya zaidi ya vile ambavyo tunatarajia Isaia chapter 6 sorry 9 for 6 to 7 I, I thought these guys would be very quick to to help us Isaia 9 for 6 the bible says for to us a child is born to us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace of the greatness of his government and peace there shall be no end he will reign on david's throne and over his kingdom establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from the time on and forever the zeal of the lord almighty will accomplish this geukia mwanzako mwambie bd ya mungu mwenye nguvu ongea kama mtu alikula kitu jana hata kama si leo ambia mwanzako bd ya mungu aliye hai itatimiza haya twende tena uh, john chapter 5 verse 1 to 9 john chapter 5 verse 1 eh, to 9 the bible says after this a jewish festival took place and jesus went up to jerusalem Quickly. By the ship gate in Jerusalem there is a pool called Bethesda in Hebrew which has five colonnades Within this lay a multitude of the sick blind lame and paralyzed waiting for the moving of the water Verse 4 Because an angel would go down into the pool from time to time and start up the water then the first one to go in after the water was stirred up recovered from whatever ailment he had one man was there who had been sick for that eight years when jesus saw him laying there and knew he had already been there long time he said to him do you want to get well sir the sick man answered i don't have a man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up but while i am coming someone goes down ahead of me get up jesus told him pick your bed roll and walk instantly the man got well picked up his bed roll and started to walk now that day was the sabbath say amen to the reading of the word <clears throat> okay basi ningelipenda ku kuongea kwa ujumbe ambao Nimesema kichwa God of the unexpected or God of wonders if you like Biblia inasema ya kwamba nabii wa Mungu Isaia alipopokea habari ya kwamba katika nyakati zijazo 
mfalme ata zaliwa aliona ni, ilikuwa ni mapema sana katikati ya wakati Isaia alionyeshwa na wakati litimia ilikuwa ni kipindi cha muda mrefu lakini biblia inasema ya kwamba eh ali kwetu kutazaliwa mwana kwetu kutazaliwa mtoto kwetu mwana atapeanwa na mwana huyo atakuwa mesihi ama mesia lakini alizaliwa akiwa mtoto bwana isifiwe alizaliwa akiwa mtoto lakini mwisho wake atakuwa mfalme na biblia inasema atabeba serikali ya ufalme wa baba wake Mungu kwa mabega yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And this tells me brothers and sisters mtu yoyote asidharau siku za mwanzo mdogo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wale watu wote ambao tunatamani katika maisha haya kwa siku moja alikuwa ni mtoto ajiwezi. Alikuwa ni mtoto katika E, mikono ya mama yake alikuwa ni mtoto katika tumbo ya mama yake sisi wote tunajua kama mama zetu hawangetaka tuone maisha tungeangamia kwa sababu wangetutoa kabla tuzaliwe kwa hivyo kuna kuna kile kipindi ambacho mtu anakuwa hajiwezi mtu anakuwa Eh, hana nguvu za kufanya mengi. But I want you to know that same vulnerable and weak person will turn out to become a different person altogether. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Huyo mtu atangeuka kuwa mtu mkuu na Mungu atamtumia jinsi angependa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Geukea mtu mwambie eh niko katika mikono ya Bwana. Na anaendelea kuni, kuniunda. Usidharau siku za mwanzo wangu. Hatimaye nitakuwa mkuu. Kama unaamini haya weka mikono yako pamoja tumsifu Bwana. So, Isaia anasema baina ya majina ya, ya mwana huyu ataitwa Wonderful. Sio Kiswahili ni nini? Uh, nani akona Biblia ya Kiswahili? Nani kona Biblia ya Kiswahili atasomea hiyo 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 that part. Isaiah chapter 6. Okay. Thank you. Ah, uh, NIV uh, aiweke hiyo vizuri. Inasema mshauri wa ajabu. Lakini eh, nakala zile zili translate inaanza kusema ataitwa ajabu. Alafu mshauri. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wonderful, comma, not wonderful counselor. Wonderful counselor is NIV. Lakini zile Biblia zingine zinasema wonderful comma counselor comma mighty god everlasting father prince of peace Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo Isaia akatoa unabii akasema huyo mwana atakapozaliwa ataitwa ajabu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Geukie mwenzako mwambie tunamtumikia Mungu wa ajabu. Hiyo ni kumaanisha kila wakati tunapohishi katika maisha yetu pamoja na huyo Mungu tutarajie maajabu kila wakati Bwana Yesu asifiwe unajua kuna watu wako na majina mbaya mbaya majina tu ambayo eh, ni ya kuhusunisha eh majina inamaanisha shida wengine chuki wengine pombe wengine alizaliwa njiani wengine alizaliwa nje 
Every time unasikia jina kuna kitu ambacho kinakuja katika akili yako. Jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo aliyopewa na Mungu Baba hata kabla azaliwe ni hajabu. Hiyo ni kumaanisha ya kwamba ana nguvu ya kufanya chochote kile ambacho tunatarajia. Kwa sababu ye ni Mungu wa ajabu. Bwana majeshi asifiwe. And na Biblia inasema ya kwamba about the increase of his government there shall be no end. Kuhusiana na kuongezeka kwa ufalme wake hakutakuwa mwisho. Hiyo ni kumaanisha ya kwamba kama leo Mungu alikuwa amenisongesha nikafika hapa. Mungu huyo ako na nguvu ya kunisongesha tena. Na sipasi kuchoka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sipasi kuchoka nifikirie ya kwamba yametosha. Kwa sababu Biblia inasema kulingana na kuongezeka kwa ufalme wa Mungu huyu tunayetumikia kuongezeka kwake hakutakuwa na mwisho. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo sitashangaa nikiona umeendesha ngare mpya. Sitashangaa ukiacha kulipa kodi ya nyumba ujenge kwako. Sitashangaa nikiona mtoto wako ambaye alikuwa perform vizuri, ameanza kuperform vizuri. Sitashangaa nikiona kijana ambaye hakuwa na mke, amepata mke kwa sababu katika ufalme huu ambayo tuko ndani yake kuongezeka kwetu hakuna mwisho. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Angalia mwanzo mwambie aujafika. Mwambie tena haujatimia. Kwa sababu Mungu wetu anatarajia uongezeke kila siku. Put your hands together and appreciate the Lord. Unajua ukimtegemea mwanadamu mwanadamu ako na kiasi ako na limit na mwanadamu atakuchoka mwanadamu atakwambia haki mimi nimekusaidia e, wacha nisaidie mwingine lakini Mungu wetu hakuna ile siku atakwambia amekusaidia ya kutosha hakuna ile siku atakwambia amekuinua ya kutosha aliambia wana wa Israeli mimi ndiye Mungu Nilio watoa kutoka inji ya utumwa fungueni mdomo wenu niwalishe kwa hivyo mpendo itatengemea umefungua mdomo wako kiasi gani bwana asifiwe ambia mwanzo ukichoka kufungua mdomo shauri yako mimi nitafungua nilishwe bwana asifiwe ukiuliza wa mama hawa ambao wako na watoto mama ufurahia sana akimchotea mtoto chakula ana anafungua mdomo anatafuna ana meza anafungua tena Hiyo ni furaha ya kila mama Sasa furaha ya Mungu wetu aliye mbinguni Nikukupatia muujiza leo kesho apate ukitarajia Nikukutendea njambo kubwa leo kesho umuombe lingine Ta hiyo ndio tabia ya Mungu wetu Blessed be the name of the Lord Tumshangilie Bwana Yesu So we must never have enough of this god because he is always ready for us but as if you he is always ready for us we should never have enough of him bwana majeshi asifiwe lakini na kata zingine tunakuwa kama vile mariamu tunashangaa sasa zingine mungu ametuambia njambo kubwa sana amesema mwaka huu utakuwa mwaka wetu wa kupanuliwa mipaka Amesema mwaka huu utakuwa mwaka wetu wa kuongezeka. Lakini unaangalia hali, unaangalia mambo vile ilivyo najiuliza itakuwaje? How shall it be? That is a question that Mary asked Gabriel. Lakini Isaia alijua watu watakuwa na maswali hayo. Akasema the zeal of the almighty God will accomplish this. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. What is what is zeal? Zeal what is zeal? Zeal is a kind of great energy. Ni nguvu isiyo ya kawaida. Sasa Isaia amekwisha tupea ishara ya mtoto vile atakuwa. Na ya kwamba atabeba serikali ya Mungu mabegani mwake. Na ya kwamba kuhusu kupanuka kwa ufalme wake hakutakuwa mwisho. Halafu anasema mkishangaa bidii ya mwenyezi Mungu aliye juu itatimiza hayo. Praise the Lord. 
and I'm here to tell you God will never get tired of you let's say in the name of the Lord so with this kind of background in mind ya kwamba Yesu alizaliwa namna gani Yesu alizaliwa alitabiriwa kuwa mtu wa aina gani with that kind of background in mind that Jesus came with the sole purpose of surprising us of making us great of making us great of making us prosperous Biblia inasema Yesu Kristo akatembea mahali ambapo kulikuwa na kizima na akampata mwanaume pale ambaye alikuwa mgonjwa kwa miaka 30 na nane. Kuna watu uteseka. Saa zingine unafikiri anga umeteseka. Kuna watu uteseka. Hapa ninajua kuna watu wengi sana hawajafikisha miaka 30 na nane. Lakini mtu huyo alikuwa mgonjwa kwa miaka 30 na nane. The Bible says that knowing that this guy had be in this condition for this period of time he decided to pass there hallelujah knowing that you are in this church at such a time as this and you've been troubled by this issue for this period of time jesus said hata kama wengine hawana shungu le namna nitapitia hapo kwa ajili ya huyo msana kwa ajili ya huyo mama kwa ajili ya huyo kijana kwa ajili ya huyo mzee Hata kwa because our God is very particular. Tunaweza kuwa tumejaa hapa na hatuna shughuli na Mungu. Tunaweza kuwa tumejaa hapa na hakuna mtu anatarajia kitu kutoka kwa Mungu. Lakini kama Mungu ataona mtu mmoja ambaye ako na matarajio atapitia hapo kwa ajili yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ambie mwanzo kama uko na matarajio Mungu amepitia hapa. So knowing that this guy and you know God knows our details. Si you kama umewahi kutumiwa kitu kikaenda wrong address. Si you kama unajua kuna kuna watu wengi sana wameniambia pastor ningependa kutembea kwa kanisa lenu na wamekuja wamepotea wanarudi. Ananiambia imagine nilikuja nikafika nikaenda mihango nikatafuta nikaulizia nikarudi. our god never misses the way anajua uko wapi hata kama ulitupwa na watu wako anajua uko wapi hata the bible says if my father and mother will reject me god will receive me hata kama mume wako atakukataa hata kama mke wako atakukataa as long as you are a person who is expectant and waits on god God will not miss your address. Akas anasema atasema nilikuwa ninapita hapo. Na kwa sababu ninajua kuna dada ambayo ako maeneo hayo. Lazima nitapitia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ngeukia mtu mwambie Yesu amepitia. So Jesus so this man very desperate and he said to him Do you want to be maimed whole? Bwana Sifio. Je, unataka kuwa mzima? Wapendwa ningependa kusema hivi. Life can be very unfair. Bwana Sifio. Life can be very unfair and I know that at least everyone has one condition that requires god labda si mambo mengi lakini kila mmoja wetu ako na njambo ambalo linamhitaji mungu biblia inasema katika kitabu cha wafalme ya kwamba and there was a great man who was in charge of the great army of syria his name was naaman and he was great and great in battle but this man had leprosy bwana sifio so hii kama umewahi kufikiria ama kufikiria hali za kundunisha hali za kudhoofisha 
ambazo husumbua watu na kila mtu hako na kahali fulani ambako huwa kanumsongesha kwa Mungu hiyo kakitu ka akaondoka ngi nikakusongesha kwa Mungu usizoe usizoe kukaa mbali na Mungu kana kusongesha kwa Mungu jamani huyu amepata all the mentors amepata all the titles anapendwa sana na mfalme wa Syria lakini hako na ukoma ambia mwanzako Mungu anachua na ametare ameta, ametengeneza tiba ametengeneza jawabu everybody has an issue but i want you to know this issue is not to kill you it is to push you to god wanasifiwe huyo mwanaume kizirani aliwekwa hapo na mungu akusukume kwa mungu mungu alijua ukiishi maisha ya starehe utamsahau mungu akakuwekea mtu hapo mwiba katika nyama zako Bwana Yesu asifiwe na Biblia inasema Paulo anasema na kulitumwa mjumbe wa shetani kunipesa kila siku na nikamwambia Mungu niondolee huyu mwiba akasema neema yangu inatosha Bwana asifiwe Angalia mtu mwambie neema ya Mungu inatosha. Kuna watu wengi sana wangekuwa wameacha Mungu. Kama sio hiyo mwiba. Wengi sana wangekuwa wamemwacha Mungu. Kwa anasema ah mimi amkee. Mimi amkee. Mshinda haka sana mkishinda mkeo wa Mungu. Eh, na shinda haka sana. Mtu anaweza aenda kila Jumapili kanisa. Kufanya nini? Kufanya nini? Mungu anajua wewe uko hivyo. Kakuweka kama mwiba. Kamwiba. Unauliza Jumapili itafika namna gani? Hii mateso imezidi. Bwana asifiwe. Kamwiba. Kwa mfano, mtu amesoma na ana kazi. Ni mwiba. Mtu ameolewa na ana mtoto. Huo ni mwiba. Bwana asifiwe. Mtu ambaye anamtumikia Mungu kwa bidii lakini bado ni single huo ni mwiba wanasifiwe muumbiri ambaye kila siku anaambia watu mambo ya kukaa katika utakatifu lakini hata hawezi kushitoleleza haja za maisha yake huo ni mwiba wanasifiwe ambaye mtu huo mwiba sio wa kukuua ni wa kukusongesha kwa Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. So this man lay here very helpless. Being having been sick for 38 years. Ame amelala hapo. Waje nikwambie. Wapendwa tusita tusitengemee usaidizi wa wanadamu. Ndio maana Biblia inasema yeyote ambaye ana weka imani yake katika mwanadamu amelaaniwa kwa sababu wanadamu wanakusaidia tu kidogo they seem to understand sorry men tend to give you what you want what you want not what you need bwana asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe ya kwamba sijalipa kodi ya nyumba na sina chakula mtu atanipatia chakula niendelee kuishi lakini nisumbuliwe na landlord bwana asifiwe mwanadamu atakusaidia kufika tu sehemu fulani na choke bwana asifiwe these guys brought huyu mtu alikuwa na watu wa kumleta and that is why with all due respect I don't agree with these people that keep on talking about help us. If our help does not come from God, help us will be useless. Bwana asifiwe. Mimi hiyo injili ya kushinda ukisema at define help us. Okay, Mungu akitaka watuma watume. But I don't look at them. I look at the God who has sent them. My focus is not them. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Huyo mtu alikuwa na watu waliokuwa wanamleta kando ya kizima. 
lakini hawakuwa na subira ya kungojea maji kitingizo walikuwa wameshachoka na wameenda what is this fear and this is the nature of life we get people who seem to help us just slightly but they leave us with with our heart and many needs bana is fear bana is fear sio kama unakumbuka ule kiwete aliye ponywa na petro na johana biblia inasema alikuwa anaketi katika malango ya kanisa na kila wakati watu wakipita hapo anawaambia nisaidieni saidia and they don't give you a lot of money wanakupatia pesa ambayo kesho utaomba tena wanakupatia pesa ambayo kesho utahitaji tena now that is the nature of human help Yesu akijua ya kwamba huyu mtu kila siku ana watu wa kumpeleka kizimani lakini hawawezi kungojea maji yatingizwe Yesu akasema nitapita hapo nitapitia hapo kwa sababu huyu mtu ametengemea watu kwa muda mrefu angalia mtu mwambie umetengemea watu kwa muda mrefu Yesu amepita amepitia hapa kwa ajili yako bwana sifiri I don't know whether you think for those people that had around you that sugar daddy that occasionally gives you some some little pocket money is like kule mtu anakuleta kwa kizima lakini hataki kukuingiza ndio kesho rudi tena that sugar mommy na wengine siku hizi nasikia anaitwa daddy netango aje kuna kajina fulani kama ni heba we are called the baby daddy daddy wa ba, daddy wa mtoto wako lakini si bwana yako or baby mami mtoto ambaye amekusalia mtoto i mean muke, mu, mwanamke ambaye amekusalia mtoto lakini si mke wako anakusaidia kidogo kidogo tu Now that is not the kind of help. Look at someone and tell them you don't need a sugar daddy or sugar mommy. You need God himself. So hata kama kuna vile kulienda mambo yakaharibika ukajipata na mtoto you don't need that uh, baby daddy. That ana anakuwekeanga carrot hapa au fikii ndio ukae ukimtengemea bwana Yesu asifiwe ambia mtu utasaidizi wako utashoka kwa bwana so na people are like that do you know people are funny people who come to your burial but they will never have come to see you in the hospital so what are they trying to say we are happy that you have gone na tunakuja kudhibitisha umeenda bwana asifiwe Siku ile mtu alishinda hospitali watu hawakuenda kumuona lakini ukiona ile magari itakuwa kwa mazishi ukiona ule umati utakuwa kwa mazishi utashangaa Kwa hivyo wamekuja tu kudhibitisha nimeenda Sisi tu walikuwa na shughuli na mimi Bwana sifiwe Watu wana you know wanatoa pesa ya mazishi inapita budget lakini hawakutoa dururu kupeleka mtu hospitali Useless people ni God have mercy. Juzi nilikuwa kwa WhatsApp group ya mama rafiki yetu ambaye alikufa. Watu wali na na, na familia ika, ikapeana budget kubwa. Nikasema na hao watu, wana wametoa budget kubwa hivi ya mazishi. Lakini wacha nikwambie, pesa ilitolewa. Pesa ilitolewa, ikatolewa, ikapita by 200,000. Ya mazishi budget ilikuwa 800,000 we gave over 1 million now watu hawakupelekea oh mama 
Kanuko Saint Hospital. Hao watu hawakuenda kumpelekea tu maji ka Hepol. They never went to see her. Lakini wakati wamezikia amekufa, ametoa. Sio ni kweli watu wanapendanga nini? Tuende ndio wafanye nini? <laughs> Bwana asifiwe. That is the nature of men. Hao watu wanajua huyu ndugu anataka uponyaji. Bwana yeye kusema tutaka hapa kwa shift. Wewe uko shift ya masaa mbili. Angalia vizuri hiyo maji ikitikisha. Rushe huyu jamaa apone. Amwambia weka hapo. Tumechoka hata kukubeba kutoka nyumbani ni muujiza bwana. Muujiza. Unafaa kusema asante. Kwa mtu ajiwezi na anaekwa kando ya kizima. Anaona tu kitingizwa na hawezi kuingia. That is the nature of man. But Jesus knew that this man has gone through trouble for this period of time. Akasema sitatuma malaika itakuja manyao. I will not send an angel. I will come in person. Praise the Lord. Because God is interested about our welfare. When I speak who think about you only for a while people's help will just be for a while what is fair kuna mtu aliniuliza swali acha niseme hapa sio swali nzuri lakini acha niseme kuna mtu aliniuliza pastor kuna wakati huwa tunachanga pesa na tunasema tunakuja kununua chakula kwako lakini saa zingine tunakaa 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 tu kama tumesahau unakulaka nini saa hizo I told him Have I the Lord called me I don't depend on the mercy of God or people I depend on the grace of God Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe You know people will attend to you depending on their mood bana sifu leo ni today i feel a bit philanthropic waje nisaidie nani hapa ko na haja leo kesho daktari na mtu sura yake imegeuka ushangae na jana alinisaidia nilifikiria leo atanisaidia to some people look at people tell them depend on the grace of god not the masses of men because wana damu wana wana wanakufikisha tu mahali na wanakuachilia. Saa zile ume, umeweka matarajio. Saa zile unasema kuna mtu huwa anakuja. Wacha ni mngoje. They don't come. Na ungu wanatarajia. But we have a god of an, of the unexpected. Who comes at the right time? And he does not delay. Bwana asifiwe. Ambea mtu he does not delay. So Jesus realized that this guy had been in this situation for this period of time. And he came and asked him, "Do you want to be well? Do you want a solution in your life? Do you want things to change?" When I feel someone told me paste ile shida iko kwetu mimi natamani tu nikuwe mbali kidogo sayang man who told me uh, i prefer shule sikifunguliwa niende tu shule nisikae hapo nione vile wanaangaliana kwa sababu hakuna kitu mambo yameharibika bwana yesu asifiwe where if you are in that situation God is asking a question. Do you want to be okay? Do you want to be well? Man is his fear. Na wapendwa Yesu Kristo anapokuuliza swali aina hiyo usianze kumwambia mambo. Unajua vile nilizaliwa familia haina mbele wanya nyuma. That is not what Jesus is asking. Unajua kuna mtu alikuwa ameniahidi job. Ah ah. Jesus is not asking that. Unajua 
Jesus is asking a simple question. Do you want to be well? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na shetani anahakikishanga ame amekupatia excuses. Biblia inasema ya kwamba Elisha Elisha alikuwa anapita na mtumishi wake wakielekea mlimani kuomba na wanarudia maeneo fulani. Na mama akawasimamisha akasema kila wakati kunapita hapa tafadhali ingieni mpewe chakula na maji. Baada ya muda mama akawa, akaambia bwana yake awa ni watumishi wa Mungu. Tuwajengee kanyumba ya ngorofa pale juu. Kila wakati wanapochelewa katika safari walale hapa. Bibi inasema baada ya muda Elisha akamuliza Tunaweza kumfanyia mama mkarimu namna hii nini? What is it that we can do? And the woman was asked, she said, I, I need nothing. Mimi niko huru, mimi sio mtumwa. Mimi ni mtu nina vitu vyangu. Sitaki usaidizi hata wa mfalme. Thank God for helpers that are sensitive. The servant of Elisha said, she doesn't have much wanasifiri. Na Biblia inasema Elisha akasema mwaka ujao wakati kama sasa utakuwa na mtoto mikononi mwako. Huyu mama amezoea mateso ya kukaa bila mwana, amezoea mateso ya kuitwa Baren, amezoea mateso. Akasema tafadhali mstumishi wa Mungu usijaribu kunidhi haki. Usinijaribu kunienjoy. Unajua kwa watu wanazoeanga hali Mtu anakuambia kuna pesa nimetuma kwa account account gani? Hiyo account yote inaweza bounce. Haijazoea pesa. Haijazoea pesa. Kasimu yangu kamezoea tu kukopa kukopa. Pesa inaingianga ikikatwa. Bwana asifiwe. Anamwambia usijaribu kunichezea akili mtumishi wa Mungu. Biblia inasema Elisha akamwambia hili si neno langu ni neno kutoka kinywani mwa Bwana wakati kama sasa mwaka ujao Bwana Yesu asifiwe ambie mwanzako usizoee mateso Mungu wetu ni wa ajabu So this guy anamwambia Yesu sina mtu wa kuniweka kizimani sina Yesu Kristo kamuliza unataka kuwa huru because he is the king of kings he is the lord of lords he is capable of doing literally everything when is his fear he, lay, he raised Lazarus from the dead he raised the only son of, of a window na unajua Mungu anaangalianga hali kama hizo Huyu this is the only brother of two sisters that love Jesus and the devil has snatched him away Jesus said your brother will live again What is fear Yesu Kristo ndio huyu katika safari zake za kila siku anapata watu wamebeba njeneza mama amelia mama amepiga nduru Yesu akafahamu that he is the only son wa mama ambaye bwana wake amekufa tayari. And Jesus said, "Stop! This boy must come back to life." And the same way Jesus is saying, "Stop! This situation must change because my servant has suffered for too long." Watu wamemzoea. Watu wamemudhiaki. Enough is enough. Praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor and tell them, "God has come to your rescue. And he's a god of unexpected. Let me tell you. Kuna wakati fulani last year nilipitia kipindi kikafu sana. Ya 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 pesa. Sina pesa. Naenda shaka kwani kwani pesa zilizao nje ya kwangu. Bwana asifiwe. Sina pesa na nikawa sasa hata siwezi kuangalia account kwa sababu nimezoea kuangalia kadi na rudi. Nasema nothing 
insufficient funds nothing hiyo ndio nimezoea nikasema my ATM cards zikae kwa mfuko so siku moja sijui roho mtakatifu tu alikuja akaniingia nikasema leo ninataka kuangalia kama kuna kitu anikaenda kwa baba nikaangalia nikasema hii ni yangu hii ni yangu nikatoa tena ATM nikaweka tena I feel balance. Ninafikiri kama nina uta. Na nikiangalia pesa iliingia lini 3 months ago na mimi sina habari. 3 months ago na vile nimepitia hata hata watoto wangu wamepewa school fees balance notification. Na niko na pesa kwa account na sina habari. Look at me by the God of the unexpected. God did a miracle at a time that I didn't expect. That God will do a miracle to you. That God will do a miracle to you. Stand up on your feet. His name is wonderful. He is going to do wonderful things to you. nataka twende mbele sa Bwana Sijui ni hali gani umekuwa ndani yako yake ambayo inakufanya ukae kama huyu mtu alikuwa mgonjwa hatujaambiwa alikuwa amegojeka nini lakini alikuwa amelemaa kwa miaka 38 Alitamani kupona lakini hakupona Alitengemea malaika lakini malaika hakumsaidia alitengemea kizima cha maji kizima cha maji hakikumsaidia alitengemea watu kwa muingize kizima kinazo kinapotingizwa hawakumsaidia hatimaye Yesu Kristo akasema mimi mwenyewe sitatumana nitapita pale Yesu Kristo hajatumana Yesu Kristo hako hapa na ninataka uinue hali hiyo kama vile ambavyo tulifunzwa asubuhi. Upaze sauti yako. Kama vile kama vile naitwa nani huyu? Bartimaeus. Ukisema Yesu mwana wa Daudi mnasareti ni rehemu. Na Yesu Kristo wako hapa anataka kukurehemu. Lift up that situation. Lift up that circumstance before the King of Kings. Tell him nimechoka na wanadamu nimechoka kudharauliwa nimechoka kukaa katika hali hii oh sekete lebela elebo silembo la handara na talela lela handara na tulaboka ebo sile ndarita la handara na talia la makote ndabi la handara na tia baka la yesu wangu yesu wangu yesu wangu kumbuka rehema Kumbuka rehema Yesu wangu Yesu wangu Ebo la ritelelele bendele la handara natatia lema kate to Ebo ri ndelebo la handara natatia lema seka tenda lebo la ka Oh ribo sikete ndelende 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 Ibo sie rinde handara na andia leno korinda le andara mo setende bela Ebo sindela ariane sa leko tindalemba katanda la lalama ka Oh Jesus Oh Jesus Oh Jesus Have mercy have mercy on someone Na kwa budu maana diwe bwana na kwa budu maana niwe bwana na kwa budu maana niwe bwana ikwitapo ikwitapo bwana unashuka na kupenda na kupenda Mana, you were one.
na kupenda na kupenda mana ni we bwana na kupenda na kupenda mana ni we bwana ni kwitapo ni kwitapo bwana unashuka hallelujah mana diwe bwana hallelujah mana diwe bwana hallelujah hallelujah mana diwe bwana ni kwitapo ni kwitapo Bwana unashuka Mimi niko hapa just like an Asha Asha's help us to get into the church What will happen to you when you get into the church is none of your business You're not able to do more than that Mimi niko hapa kama shamanzi wa Mungu I want to hasha you into the presence of the Lord. You are saying I am in a situation that I don't like. I have suffered shame. I have suffered ridicule. I want God to help me. And because he has said he has he has had me and he has come. I ask him to help me. God told the, the priests in the Old Testament the times of Moses to stand in between the porch and the altar and say spare your people O God spare your people O God you and your that is my role you are coming to God I am standing in between to plead for you you are saying I am tired I want God's help. So God will. Don't mind about whether people other people are there. But Myas was not interested whether they were other blind people in Israel. He knew that he was blind and he needed God's help. Hile hile kitu ufanya watu waumie katika maisha. Ni watu kusema siko peke yangu. Siko peke yangu kuna wengine. Nimeona tuko wengi. Mko wengi wewe ndio unajua ile hali unapitia. Don't comfort yourself that there are others. Na ukija hapa inua mikono yako. Na umwambie Bwana niko hapa kama vile ambavyo umenena nami. Ninataka, ninataka niponye, ninataka niponye. And Jesus is going to command you to carry your bedding's home. Jesus is going to command you to carry that condition home eko sindela ele meketende tetende tete ilembo seleke tendele bela ele mbea selanda rana tatenda lela ka holy father here i am standing between the altar and the porch pleading spare your people spare your people i am here between the altar and the porch i am here between the altar and the congregation declaring spare spare your people hoka ele beheri nelekele hawa watu wameteswa wameteswa na shetani hawa watu wameteswa wameteswa na hali zao hawa watu wameteswa wameteswa na imbilisi yesu kristo kama vile ambavyo ulipitia pale kizimani pitia hapa pitia hapa pitia hapa Pitia hapa, pitia hapa. Saidia huyu ndugu, saidia huyu dada. Oko sindela, oko sindela. Eko riendela, eko riela. Mako riende, sheke tendelebo. Ile bosie, Lord, I agree with your servant. I agree with him that enough is enough. You are going to change that situation. You are going to change that condition for the praise and glory of your name shaketelela ibos yeleka iliandes 
il est mon cas, il le cossier, il le sait, il rien de l'eau, il remèque, il bosse, chaque tendelle, rien de l'eau, rien de ce, chaque tendelle, rien de l'eau, mais que ta, Holy Father, I agree with your servant. I agree with your servant. I agree with your servant that it is a time of their visitation, that it is their time of your manifestation. Show yourself great. Show yourself great. Le kalebola, shekete tendela, riloko lobokola, rilobo bosindela, shekete tendetela. Nina kubaliana, nina kubaliana, namtumishi yako ya kwamba imetosha, imetosha. Imetosha ebo rielebo shekete tetendela rilebo korobokola shekete tenderela rilebo kondorobokola shenderereke tendela rilobo kotondoreka shekete tenderela rileke tendelela reketela i speak to every situation that is contrary to god i speak to every situation that is contrary to the purposes of god I declare an end. I declare a stop. I declare an end. I agree. And the Bible says it. Whatever we agree, touching to do with anything here on earth, it shall be agreed in heaven. I agree with my sister. I agree with my sister that it is well with her. That it is well with her. Every level say, shake it to the bella. Rilobo kondo rokola. Rite tete tete la. Rilebo koroboko, ribo si tete ndela, rialebo koti ande, rilebo se tete ta, sheke tete lebela, rileke tete rerela, rilebo soto ndola. We agree, our Father. We agree, our God, that you are changing every situation. You are changing every circumstance for the praise and glory of your name. We agree, Holy Father. We agree. You have said whatever we shall agree, touching to do here on earth. It shall be agreed. May this be agreed. May this be agreed. Shelo ralebo sena. Sheke tete tena. Rilele beke tena. Riale korina laka. Hili likubaliwa buwana. Hili likubaliwa buwana. Hili likubaliwa buwana. Kateka jina la yesu. Ekeleli ya laba. Rete tete nela. Nina kausha kila hale. Nina kausha kila hale. Hili okinyume na mapenzi ya mungu. Nina ikausha. Kateka jina la yesu Tawala yesu kristo Moto wa mungu choma Moto wa mungu lamba Moto wa mungu yeyusha Kila hale Ambayo Hayambatani na mapenzi yako Rilobo seta Sheke tetendere ya laba Rilo kosena Rilebo kosiane Rilo re Rite tetetende I agree with my sister I agree that you are visiting her in the name of Jesus Reke tete lebeka Rile bo sindaleka Mako tete tendebela Rila bo se tetenda Rile bo se ketia Rilo kondoro bokola Rile konde lekete Sheke tende tetiala Ramo kale babosi Rile kete tendela Rile ko sindelelela Rilo ko sindelelela Ribo se kete tenda Rama kate tandebo Ribo ko lebo korea Reme kete ndeleleleba Rile kete tendelela Rile kete ndebo sa Tuku mbapo Kona unashuka Mi kuitapo Mi kuitapo Wana unashuka Ni kuitapo Ni kuitapo Wana unashuka Uko hapa Na uja mutambua Yesu Kristo kama mokosi Hiyo ndiyo Mwanzo Hiyo ndiyo mwanzo wa kutambele wa namu Tuoneshe kwa ishara Uko hapa Na uja Nipenda kumbukea Yesu Kristo Mungu wangu na baba yangu Najua hata hapa kuna watu Umezoea hali zao Na wakafikiria hiyo ndiyo hali ya maisha Hata wao Naomba watembele Na wakashangaye kujua Ya kwamba unaweza kubadilisha hali zao Katika jina la Yesu Kuna watu wamezoea umasikini Kuna watu wamezoea kusurvive Kuna watu wamezoea magonjwa Bwana wa mabwana kila mahali waliko muradi wamesikia neno lako naomba popote walipo 
watembelee Yesu Kristo watembelee Yesu Kristo geuza hali zao katika jina la Yesu labda uko hapa na uliambiwa kuna ugonjwa ni lazima ukunywe dawa kila siku nataka kukuambia kwamba Mungu anaweza kukuponya waachane na madawa labda uliambiwa hali hii huwa haingeuki hai inakaanga tu hivyo ikikushika ni hivyo i want you to i want you to know that is a lie of the devil god is able god is able and he is going to turn around your situation he is going to turn around your circumstances lift up your hands and give thanks to the living god inua mikono yako mwambie bwana asante bwana asante umeona hali yangu mfalme asante umeona hali yangu mungu wangu asante It is done. Go back to your seats and glorify the name of the Lord. Amen. Tushangilie bwana Yesu makufu. Napo kitu